Aspire Living and Learning Center is a nonprofit organization that provides treatment and support for those living with developmental and intellectual disabilities. They strive to help these clients live a fully more independent life. Join us in the next 30 minutes as we meet the staff and some of the clients that tell us how Aspire has made a difference in their lives. I'm Christy Breslin, and this is Hartford Magazine. Judy Sturmer is the Chief People and Culture Officer here at Aspire. She's here to tell us all about this wonderful organization and what sets them apart from other organizations that offer similar services. Hi, Judy. Hi. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. Now, Judy, what is Aspire Living and Learning Center? Aspire Living and Learning is a nonprofit organization. We've been around for almost 44 years. We provide services to folks who are living with developmental disabilities uh, in Maryland and across a, a wide footprint. We provide residential supports, day services, community participation, and employment support. Um, our mission is to ensure that folks have the opportunity to explore their passions, uh, reach their full potential, and really thrive in inclusive communities that we all deserve. Now, how many locations do you have here in Harford County, and where are you? So we are located in Bel Air. This is where we host our day services. Folks start here and go out into the community doing things like volunteering or to places of employment. Uh, we also have supported living and group home settings across Hartford and Baltimore counties. Now I know that Aspire has just continued to grow and grow, so tell me how you've evolved over the years. Yeah, we started, like I said, 43, almost 44 years ago as a really small organization providing limited services to people uh, in Maryland. Uh, we've grown over that trajectory to be an agency that has a multi-state footprint and provides services to hundreds of folks who are looking to engage in their communities in meaningful ways. Um, we've adopted technologies in ways to support people who come to us just looking for a little extra support, uh, whether it's through communication technology or smart home technology. Uh, and we've really modernized our people and culture offerings so that the workforce that's coming to us today has the opportunity to grow and thrive uh, and, and become better professionally and personally throughout their career with us. Now, who would be eligible for all these services? So folks who are eligible for our services here in Maryland is anyone who's living with an intellectual or developmental disability. Uh, we, like I said, provide services for folks residentially. So if you're looking for support, maybe it's a group home setting or you want to share your home, uh, there's an opportunity for uh, uh, residential support. If you're looking to hold a job or get assistance in finding a job, we offer employment assistance. Um, or if you're looking for a meaningful day activity where you can explore your community, volunteer, get involved civically, or work, uh, those are ways in which we support individuals with IDD as well. Well, let me ask you this. What sets you apart from other organizations that offer similar services? Aspire's commitment to person-centered approach is deeply rooted in this organization. And so when we meet an individual who's looking for help, we're meeting one person and tailoring our supports and services to their needs. We work with community partners and families to ensure that their loved ones have the support and service they need in a way that allows them to really explore uh, their communities and their world. The other thing that I think sets us apart is the, the importance that we put on the development and growth of our employees. And so when a new employee comes to Aspire, we work diligently to ensure that they're onboarded well, that they're trained, that they have the resources and tools that they need to do the work that they're being asked to do. Now, what if somebody wanted to volunteer, donate their time, or maybe even work here? How would they go about doing that? 
So if folks are looking to join our organization, we're always looking for folks who are aligned with our mission and who are passionate about making a difference in people's lives. And you can see all of our open jobs at www.allinc.org. And all of our positions are posted there. Uh, any, any openings that we have, the, the application process is uh, seamless. Um, and we're always looking forward to talking to people who really align with that mission and who are looking to make a difference. Judy, thank you so much. We're so lucky to have an organization like Aspire right here in our community. Thanks for having me. And she mentioned all the services that they provide. So we're going to find out more about those services and how you can take advantage of them coming up. Eva Murui is the Director of Operation Services here at Aspire Living and Learning Centers. So she's here to tell us about her experience working with the clients and in her words, why she is blessed to work with such wonderful coworkers. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me, Christy. Now Eva, what type of different services and support does Aspire offer right here in Harford County? We have a lot and we have residential services with group homes in the Hartford and Baltimore County. We also have a beautiful day habilitation program that is known in the community as Day Options that has a variety of services, employment services, which is helping individuals gain employment and maintain it. We also have what you call community development services, which is the individuals exploring their community, engaging, building relationships. We also have, you know, the traditional day habilitation program where folks come in and learn new skills and perhaps even find volunteering activities. And um, we also have personal supports where we meet the individuals in their families' homes. Um, we also have some nursing services which is phenomenal uh, because we cater to the person on their needs, their medical needs, on a daily basis. One of the things that you mentioned was nursing. That's a question that comes up pretty often. Do you have a full nursing staff on board? So we have nurses on staff where we provide services to the individual immediately when an incident occurs, especially if it's a medical incident. So their, you know, their commitment and their, and their task is to really ensure that whatever has gone on in the hospital or urgent care or what have you is then translated in the hospital. So we're serving the individual on a person-centered uh, approach. So whether it's medication changes or new diagnoses, so that's a big thing for us because we consider, consider that as a health and safety item. So that's in our forefront. And nursing also works very um, uh, collaboratively with behavioral support services that we're talking about clinicians who help with the behavioral aspects. So they go all hand in hand and we call that the clinical services. What are some of the future goals or initiatives Aspire has for the Maryland operations? Absolutely. We're very excited about expanding our services uh, beyond the Hartford and Baltimore County for our residential services. We also have behavioral support services that we're providing right now in Hartford and Baltimore County, and our goal is to expand into the entire Maryland. We also have an adaptive technology initiative. So our goal is to really set up a remote home where an individual has the control to live independently and have these wonderful technology gadgets to assist them in their daily lives. What would you say is the core philosophy behind Aspire's clinical approach? We believe in a person-centered approach. We meet you where you are and our goal is to ensure that you achieve independence at your own level and support you, whether it's at home, in the community, and at work. From your vantage point, what is it like working here at Aspire? That's a great question. And I have been here a year at Aspire, um, although I have 25 years of experience in the industry, but this by far is the most tight-knit community. Um, they are so dedicated and committed to the individuals we serve. Our staff have a heart of gold. 
and they literally put the individual's needs first. So we are, I would say, blessed that Aspire exists in Maryland and they're being known as the preferred provider because of the great work that we do. Eva, thank you so much. It's so great talking to you and it's so nice to see such positive feedback and so passionate about what you do. Thank you. Thank you, Christy, for having us. Uh, we appreciate it and come back soon. Absolutely. Now we were talking about how important donations are. No matter how big or how small, they make a difference and they help the mission here at Aspire. Stay with us. Cassie Lindsay is the director of philanthropy here at Aspire Living and Learning, and she's here to tell us about their practices and why this organization could be a good fit for you. Hi, Cassie. Hey, nice to meet you. Cassie, why is it so important for our community to support Aspire's work? Great question. Well, the work we do here at Aspire Living and Learning is really relevant to everyone because neurodiversity is all around us every day. One in four people in the United States lives with a disability and that tracks with what we see here in Maryland where 22% of the adult population has a disability. So at Aspire we focus on individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities, that's IDD, um, and really help them live fulfilling lives. And so I think community support of our work is vital not just because we're delivering a really essential service to that population, but because our aim is really to dismantle disparities for people with disabilities. Um, and so what that means is that when there's community engagement in our work, when you support our work philanthropically, when you speak up for your neighbor with IDD, you're actually contributing to the creation of more inclusive environments where we can all thrive. And I think that's something that we all have a stake in. Oh, absolutely. Now, we talked about donations. Mm. How can a single donation make a difference? Yeah, it's, I think, incredible the power that a gift in any amount can have on someone's life, a really profound impact. Um, some examples might be your gift might fund technology, so adaptive communication device that could help someone express themselves freely for maybe the first time in their life or it could fund um, recreational opportunities for social connection and confidence building, or it might support our employment program that helps connect someone to their own job and their own paycheck. And so those are just some ways that um, giving can really bolster the personalized support that we provide here at Aspire that opens doors to new opportunities and adventures for the people that we serve. What are some of the most pressing needs that Aspire is currently facing that we could help out with? Yeah, we, one of the um, most pressing needs uh, that we're facing is really an evolving landscape around our community-based programs. And those are sort of the, the core work that we do here at Aspire, our day program, residential services, employment services. Um, we know that one size doesn't fit all. And we really want to meet people where they're at here um, to help them fulfill their potential, whatever that means for them. Um, and tailoring our services to meet the unique needs of every person that we serve can be really in, uh, resource intensive. So philanthropy can come in and really help us enhance our spaces, roll out new technology, or innovate our programs in a way that is able to meet people where they're at um, and, and really help them re reach their potential. So how can our community kind of get involved with the mission? Mm. Yeah, anyone can be involved in Aspire, and there's tons of ways um, to help. So I think first and foremost, I want to say speak up. You know, be a champion for your I, neighbor in the IDD community and be a champion for the amazing workers that support them. Reach out to your friends and family, people in your circle and see if they want to get involved. Tell them about what we're doing here, break down those barriers. And of course, m you know, invest in our work and mission through a financial contribution to Aspire. Engaging with us in any of these ways 
helps create a more inclusive and supportive community for individuals with disabilities, but really for all of us. Cassie, thank you so much. I know that you're a very busy woman and I really appreciate you taking the time. Thanks so much for having me. So what is it like to work at Aspire and why would it be a good fit for you and why should you recommend their services? We'll have all those questions answered coming up. I'm here with Lisa Ruley and Ben Achille. He is the program director and Lisa is the administrative assistant. They are here to tell us about their experience working at Aspire, why it is so great for Harper County, and maybe why you should consider joining them. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Ben. Hi. Hi. How are you? Now, Lisa, tell me about yourself and what do you do here at Aspire? I work the front desk, answer phones. And how long have you been doing that? 12 years. 12 years? Mm -hmm. And what is the best part about doing that? That they help me out of fun. Um, and tell me about some of your coworkers. Uh, I have Ben beside me that helps me, and I have Kate in the back that helps me out, too. She's my boss. So you have some good coworkers then, right? Mm -hmm. So Ben, tell me about you. You're the program director? Yes, I'm the program director of Residentia, so um, I'm here to help. Uh, I'm assisting Lisa sometimes. She comes to, the, to my office when she needs help. And Lisa is a good uh, lady. She do some stuff without anybody telling her, like coming in the morning, go into the kitchen, clean the place up, uh, put supplies in there. Except if she needs to add other supplies, then she will go to Kate and get the key uh, to the uh, that closet yeah, out to here. the closet so that she can put all the supplies out there. So everybody is comfortable, everybody likes her uh, with what she is doing. She's really helping us. Now, Ben, as program director, yeah. what is your role there? Oh, my role is um, residential. I have like three managers under me and uh, like 20 something staffs that uh, I oversee, um, supervise them, go to the houses sometime. Um, inspecting the houses and make sure uh, everything is in order because of the people we are serving. We have individuals in each of the houses that I have to uh, check what they are doing, uh, like doctor's appointment, they mustn't uh, miss any doctor's appointment. Uh, recreation, they have to go out there. Day program, they have to go to day program, make sure everything is in order according to the uh, DDA regulation. So Ben, let me ask you, what is the part that you enjoy the most about working at Aspire? Uh, the culture. Um, Aspire is a great place to work. It's a multi-purpose. They don't look at you, either your skin, your language, the way you speak, the way you dress. So they accept everybody the way you are. It's a teamwork. Everybody works together as a team uh, because of the people we are serving. So I enjoy working at, at Aspire. Uh, it's a place to, uh, to grow. That's another thing because I started as a program manager. So uh, I become the program director last year, so. Well, that was a great choice, yes. great choice. Yeah. Now, how did the staff at Aspire support you in reaching your goals and addressing the needs? Uh, because uh, I do supervision and I get a great feedback from them. So with the feedback, if they understand what I say, training or any other thing, they get back to me. So uh, on announced visit, supervision, training. So after the main training at the AOB, I go to the houses uh, to retrain the staff, ask them questions, they do understand this, and I get a feedback from them. So the feedback energizes me to do more or to, uh, to expand in my knowledge in what I'm assisting the staff to do. Now, Lisa, I know you love working at Aspire. Why do you think someone should come to Aspire? Because they can find a job here help them out with a job. Now, do you have any certain memory that stands out in your mind, something that happened to you here that just makes you smile? <laughs> everybody makes me happy around here. And everybody is always there to assist you. Yeah, everybody's here to assist me here at the Respire. And we always appreciate what you do in the day-to-day -day when you are here. Uh-huh. Uh, it's this 
special that Ben helps me out here at Respire. Well, it sounds like a great place to work and great co-workers too. Exactly. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. and that's why we call ourselves a team. So it's teamwork. Teamwork. I work as a DSP too. And our residential director, Kate, worked as a DSP too. Because the first time I started here, it was amazed me. Uh, about two weeks, we have a call out in one of the houses. So I was looking around to get a coverage. So I said, okay, let me go in there. And when I got there, I was just opened my I just opened my mouth. I don't I can't believe what I saw. Kate was there. The whole big director was there. That's wild to me. I said, okay, I'm gonna be here. She was there working as a DSP. And I said, go home. She said, no, I can walk here with you. So that's where I started to say, okay, I'm a DSP. I just have the name of program director or program manager. I work at this, as a DSP because of the people we are serving. So that's why we are here. And I love it. And I brought like three or four people to this company to work here. Ben and Lisa, thank you so much. It's been great interviewing you guys. And it's nice to see co-workers that just get along so well. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us too. And don't forget to refer people to Aspire. We are here. We are in Hartford County and we are in Baltimore County too. So if you have any referral, send them down. They will enjoy this place. Absolutely. I mean, we've heard it firsthand. It's a great place to work. And you guys have a very, very important mission. Now, speaking about the mission that, that they're trying to accomplish here, we're going to talk more about the day program and the day options coming up. Stay with us. James Brower and John Stout are here to talk to me more about the Aspire program. Now, John is the day program manager, and James is one of the clients. And I got to talk to him a little bit off air, and he was just telling me what a great experience it is. And now they're here to share that with you all. So, gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having us. Um, uh, thank you for having me. John, tell me about the day program option. Uh, the Day Options, which is uh, our day habilitation program, is located in Bel Air, Maryland. Uh, we, uh, we offer a program that provides uh, supports for people with intellectual disabilities and physical disabilities on a, uh, in a day program setting. So basically what that means is, is we go out into the community uh, every single day, Monday through Friday, uh, between the hours of 9 and 3, and we, we provide great supports within the community, which could be uh, going to Dave & Buster's, the movies, going bowling, going to state parks, um, things like that. Anything that you would do with your family and your friends, we do. That sounds like a lot of fun. And we have with us James. James, thanks so much for being with us. And tell me about your experience with Aspire. Well, I have been with um, Aspire, Aspire uh, since um, uh, 2007. Oh wow! So you've um, been with them for a while. For um, until a uh, spring of uh, two thousand eight. And you really like the program, don't you? Yes. John, you not only work with the client, but you work with the families as well. So we have uh, very, very close relationships with all of our families. Um, they they provide. Um, we we're on, on a, basically a. a communication level every single day. Um, we have the families, uh, some families are responsible. They help us with drop-offs and pickups. Um, they participate in talent shows and uh, amazing events that we do. Uh, they're very active with them and we're very active with them. So they're involved in every aspect of what we provide while we're here. John, I know that you just had a talent show, from what I understand. It was fantastic. Everybody had a great time, and it seems to really bring the community together. So we had um, members of the Hartford County Sheriff's Department as well as other agencies throughout the state that showed up, um, and it was a first responders, it was a respect to res first responders, a tribute to them. Um, we had over 20 some odd acts of our individuals as well as staff that helped uh, make it a success, and it was a, an amazing success. Everybody had a great time. James, what do you like most about Aspire and being part of the program? 
Um, uh, the friends I have, the staff I have, and and the uh, and the uh, relationships I have built. That, um, um, that help. Um, that has helped me. I have built a castle. Um, build a castle? Yeah. And I have painted some things for the community. And the staff really enjoys me and I, I really enjoy them. Well, it sounds like it's just a fun thing overall. And let me ask you, what's the response been about the program from the clients, from the families, from everyone, from the community? Uh, we are welcomed with open arms everywhere we go. Uh, when people see Aspire, they just they know that not only the support that, they're, that our individuals are receiving, but they know that the staff are going to be highly trained professional people that are going to be in the community really helping and caring about the, uh, the needs and the wants of the people that we serve. James and John, thank you so much. Thank you for everything that you do for the community. And I'm excited to see what Aspire is going to do in the future. It just seems like you just continue to evolve and evolve. Thank you so much. Uh, and I am one of the uh, big uh, stars around here, so, um, I, and I, and I like that title, so. I like that title too. So if you want to see James and John, our big star, James is the star, John is the other star, Damn. Aspire is the place to be. As you've seen today, Aspire Living and Learning Center has made a huge impact right here in Harford County. If you or someone you know could take advantage of the many services and support they provide, make sure to get in touch with them. All the information is listed on your screen. You can donate, you can volunteer, you can even become part of their staff. Thanks for joining us. I'm Christy Breslin. See you next month on Harford Magazine.